Sometimes in your lives, when things go wrong, it is just chapter one of a really cool story. And the ending is entirely up to you. There is a lot more to his story than just racing motorbikes. He's such a people person, such a friendly person. He's the most positive, most outgoing person that I know. The story is a tribute to the man himself and all who helped him achieve his dream. Allow me to introduce Joey Evans. Joey Evans! Joey Evans. Joey loved the challenge of off-road racing and started moving up the ranks. But a decade ago, in an event in Heidelberg, his life changed in a split second. Well, Joey Evans uh, broke his back in a regional event. His T8 and T9 vertebra broken, his spinal cord crushed, Joey was paralyzed from the chest down. It seemed his motorsport days were over. And every day became a struggle, not only just to keep it together physically, but just to keep it together mentally. And I made a decision in that hospital. And it's really the only decision you get to make when you're in a place like this, is you're either going to check out or you're going to live. But I'd get up the next day and we'd go again, little bit by little bit. And along with that, I thought about my goal to race the Dakar Rally. One day when I do that race, that'll be me beating this injury. There's so much more to the Dakar yes. Rally. It's about the spirit of the event, the human endeavor, and going and doing something which is seemingly unachievable. And here we've got this living guy, Joey, and he's gone and done it and, and got paralyzed, and, and he's turned himself around and he's getting back on his bike and he's gonna go and, and race again. And so on the 2nd of January, 2017, I stood on the start line of the Dakar Rally in Asuncion, Paraguay. With an hour or two sleep a night, he endured up to 22 hours on the bike day after day, until stage 11 when disaster struck. Today, his bike got run over by a car. I can't believe this, man. I just, just don't know what to do. Once again, it was just so difficult to face this kind of, this hand we'd been dealt. It just felt so wrong and so unfair. But as Joey likes to say, he didn't come this far to only come this far. So what happened? Was there divine <laughs> intervention? I think there was. And I've just come across a bike right here. Freaking insane. But it shows you you don't quit ever. And I just rode the rest of that day without seeing another bike or another quad that whole day. And it started getting dark and I'm still riding. 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning I'm still riding. And then I rode that same bike another 750 kilometers the next day to cross the finish line in Buenos Aires, Argentina. But that's not the finish. The finish was coming home. And so when it is dark and you feel alone and you feel like quitting, I want to encourage you to just twist that throttle and you ride right through the night. Because it's when you ride through the night that you earn those airport days.